the Colorado Avalanche are alive and well, and there are many angles to be discussed on today's episode of the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. Oh my goodness me, Kale McCarr magic once again. Thank you for joining us. Let's get this paper. Your Locked On Fantasy Hockey, your daily podcast on fantasy hockey. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. We back. We missed you on Thursday's episode, but we are back in the lab. Got those Friday feelings flowing. Thank you so much for joining us for the latest episode of your daily source for fantasy and hockey news. It's the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. Joined, as always, by my distinguished co-host, Mr. Steele Roden. And on this side of the microphone, it's your boy, Big Flip Livingstone. Shout out and much love to the everydayers holding us down, making us your first listen every single day. Steele and I will be here all the way through June, Monday through Friday, and all summer long, baby, because this work as a fantasy GM, it don't stop. Speaking of which, Steele, today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On NHL for twenty bucks off your first purchase. I almost flubbed that one, Steele, but giddy up because as a hockey fan, I think there are certain games that you tune into if you're just a casual or you're not really into the game, and you catch Game Five between Dallas and Colorado. Clearly, two of the best teams going right now with some of the best players in the league. That brings you into this game, whether you're a fan of either team or not. We'll talk about both teams, the game five battle, game six tee up. I got a couple of stats deal. I've been in my bag early this morning. Rupe hints update. That's your Demko update. Rick Tockett has comments on his number one goalie, but do they stick with Arter Shilov steel? I'll pick his brain about it. Friday's big time bets over to you as always, my friend, because I know you got a lot to say about what you saw from both teams in game five. All I got to say is this game six buckle up. Buckle up indeed. I mean, it was absolutely electric in Dallas for game five. And we knew, obviously, it was a do or die situation for the Colorado Avalanche. And I just had this weird feeling that, you know, it was actually kind of funny. I was watching on my laptop uh, on Sportsnet yesterday. And uh, in the game, it, it actually glitched for me. So it's, <laughs> it froze. And I had it. It was it was in the dying seconds of the first period. And I had this weird feeling that when it came back on, the Avalanche oh. were going to be scoring. Yeah. And it came back on. They it's ended up scoring. And I mean, second or something like it, that. Yeah, it it was insane. And and what a, just an absolute incredible play from their best mm. player Nathan McKinnon to you know in the dying seconds, one second left, two guys on him, great saucer pass to our Terry Lekkinen, and he snipes yeah, it over Jake Ottinger. And that was huge for them to get that yeah. game tied. Another big goal uh, from Arturi Lekin. In another big game. goal. And I actually thought the Avalanche outworked and outplayed them in the first period, even though they were down one nothing until the dying uh, until the dying second. So great play from Nathan McKinnon to get it to our uh, Arturi Lekin in the slot. He buries mm-hmm. it over Jake Ottinger. And then again, it continues to roll. I know Miro Heiskin and Kale McCarr balled out. They did my big my big time bets didn't hit for me. I called the anytime <laughs> assist. Of course, both of those defensemen. Mm-hmm. They go out and get a couple of Genos themselves. Yeah. But, yeah, no, big game from the top guys on Colorado. Nathan McKinnon, a goal and an assist. Kale McCarr, two goals. Arturi Lekkinen in there. Um, just, again, do or die situation. And the, the big dogs came out and they they ate it up. So, a big win, 5-3. I know the last couple of games they only uh, they only scored one goal. But they get back to their, uh, their regular habits of going three, yes. four-plus goals in a yes. game. They win 5-3. Yep. Uh, and that, that's a huge momentum swing, especially after all the news comes out with Nachushkin and everything going on exactly. uh, in their locker room right now. I mean, the, the boys rallied. They rallied together. Devin Taves didn't miss. He was in the lineup as well. So, I mean, it was just it was a huge game for them. It's 3-2. It's going back to Colorado. They got to tie it up. Hey, this series is not over. It's not over. Just like it was in the uh, Denver Nuggets, Minnesota Timberwolves series when they were down 2 <laughs> nothing. Colorado, man, they, they continue to battle, and they, they'll battle to tie it up. Just like me the other day, I'm going to try to address all of the fire things that you just had to say. Because, look, the the point remains at it all. And let me just start with Kale McCarr is we knew how this Colorado Avalanche team was going to get wins. And especially going up against a very balanced and deep Dallas Stars team. 
Uh, we knew that the depth in this series was really going to potentially be a difference if that Colorado Avalanche core group of big guns couldn't go. And they go and they win decisively. Look, the power play was another big angle for this team. Game one, I think they went two for two. Games two, three, and four steal. No goals on the power play. They lose all of them. I don't think it's exactly, uh, you know, very kind of, you know, it makes a lot of sense that when they win, it's the power play getting it done. I'm going to spit out these words for sure. But a couple of stats for you. You know, look, Kale McCarr was all over the ice. His elite skating yes. ability generates these opportunities for himself that not many D-men, not just now get, have ever had. When you look at these stats deal, he's behind now Bobby Orr. Only behind Bobby Orr, the best defenseman to ever play the game of hockey for points per game by a defenseman. Full stop right there. Kale McCarr, and I'm going to spit this out, Steele, because Kale McCarr is the best defenseman in the NHL. Yeah, you could have some conversations about some other players, but right now it's Kale McCarr. And if you can get this guy on your fantasy hockey team, along with one or two other pieces, and I'm looking at even like the likes of Miko Rantanen, who Steele is also doing special things. And I got one more stat for you, and I'm going to throw it right back to you. Your team is going to be sitting pretty for a very long time. Kale McCarr ain't going nowhere. He's going to be doing this for a decade or two. And Miko Rantanen also getting it done. Fewest games to 100 career playoff points. 80 for Miko Rantanen. Guys ahead of him, Steele? Dennis Savard, Sidney Crosby, Mario Lemieux, Wayne Gretzky, and Nathan McKinnon. So maybe we need to really start paying attention to guys like Rantanen, who I know dedicated fantasy cats know about. This guy's special, and when their players go like that, Steele, and yeah, I'm fired up again. This team, that's how they win games, and they did it very emphatically. There's the word I was looking for, emphatically in game five. I'm back. Putting themselves in a in a very elite group of players right yes. there. So you know, like we know this Colorado Avalanche's team is one of the best in the league. We know they're not done by any means. Again, mm. I, I did say it. If they were to go down three one, it might be over. I think I was absolutely uh, couldn't be more wrong with that statement <laughs> right there. They came out and proved <laughs> me wrong. I mean, of course they're proving me wrong. What else? What, what what do I know about the Colorado Avalanche right now? I mean, Gail McCarr is just an absolutely. Uh, on a different level and you know we thought we talked about yep. the eliteness of Miro Heiskanen as well them going mm -hmm. back to back uh, in their draft class you know third overall fourth overall and just even just from the get-go Kale McCarr was by far the better defenseman yeah and we were just hyping up Miro Heiskanen about the play he's been going through in the first round series against Vegas the series right now with Colorado his game is elevated over the years as well he's playing heavy heavy minutes like you mm. said over 27 28 minutes of average ice time in the playoffs right now but Kale McCarr is still that guy Kale McCarr mm -hmm. is still the number one defenseman oh, yeah. I mean even what Evan Bouchard is doing right now I know Evan Bouchard is putting himself into in some elite company with his playoff run uh that he's having with the Edmonton Oilers over the last two seasons as well so we're gonna have to mm. look at maybe his stats when we talk about them uh, you know, what in next episode or later this episode, but yes, sir. A lot of defensemen are a lot of these young defensemen who are now getting you know 24, 25, 26. They're 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 in their they're getting into their prime right now. We're just seeing, you know, we're not at the tip, we're not at the tip of the iceberg. They're they're still climbing that, they're still climbing up that way. And it's just absolutely incredible to see these defensemen show out, puck out, ball out, whatever you want to say. They've mm. been absolutely incredible. It's been a great playoff so far. We're going to continue to show out on the rest of today's episode. I got a couple more stats from this series, and then I want to talk about a Rupe Hints injury update, and then let's talk Vancouver Canucks. We're going to look at our bets for tonight's games, Friday's bets. I just also got to give a huge shout out to all of our new listeners, our followers. If you're out there on IG, make sure you're following our new Locked On Fantasy Hockey Pod account, and shout out to all the regular everydayers out there. All of my old UFA friends, Will McPherson, everyday listeners, we appreciate you, both Steele and I. Today's episode is brought to you by our friends at Game Time. You never want a frustrating ticket buying experience, whether it's the NBA playoffs, MLB in full swing, comedy or theater events near you, and of course, concerts. And with Game Time, you have everything you need, including last minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals, easy to find and buy tickets for every event in your area with views from your seats in the actual venue, lowest price guaranteed, event cancellation protection, and even job loss protection. Take the guesswork out of buying NBA tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account 
account and use code locked on NHL for 20 bucks off your first purchase. Terms apply. Create an account, redeem code L O C K E D O N N H L for 20 bucks off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Are you still watching on Fox Sports or ESPN, though? You have to turn down the volume with all that shouting. You got to make the switch to Locked On Sports today, a free 24-7 sports streaming channel program for you every day to bring you the biggest and top stories without all the screaming. Locked On Sports Day brings you can't miss analysis, news, opinions, Streaming 24-7 on YouTube or the free Amazon Fire TV channel app. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team, every single day. Mm. One of your teams, Flip, mm. got dusted last night. Dallas mm-hmm. Stars mm. against the Colorado Avalanche, 5-3. Yeah. Rupe Hintz, though, he was out of the lineup. Uh, I know he's been struggling, battling with an injury since the first round series against the Vegas Golden Knights. He's out yes. for game four, or sorry, game five. Um, against the Colorado Avalanche. What's the update you've got? What's the scoop? So the scoop is this. He was banged up in Wednesday's. Uh, so he missed game five. So he was banged up in game four big time. He blocked a shot. Looked like it went off. It's re- it's reading that it's his wrist steal. But he also took a heavy cross check. I think it was from, yeah, it was from Nathan McKinnon. So he is actually pretty banged up. And I'm going to say, I'm going to lean towards from what I'm reading here and hearing is that he's likely going to be out. Uh, for game six as well. However, he has been struggling. So I don't know how much this really changes the approach for the Dallas Stars, considering they're going to have to get it done by committee the way they've been doing it. Wyatt Johnston, Miro Haskinen, you know, Joel Pavelski has been pretty quiet up until uh, I think game five. first First goal of the playoffs last night. There you go. So everyone came in talking about the depth and now they're going to have to show it when you're one of your top guys goes out, even if Hintz hasn't been getting it done. He is still one of their top guys. You know, shout out to Chris Tanev. I think you and I, as our X Factor, I said Tanev and Lindell are going to have to be shut down, and they have been shut down up until game five. So when it comes down to, you know, we looked at the angles of how the Colorado Avalanche win games, offensive firepower, magic from Makar, power play. They were two for three on the power play, by the way, stealing game five. And that's just lastly what I wanted to bring up is I got a couple of these stats in terms of Colorado quick before we get to (laughs) Shilovs and Thatcher Demko is – they hadn't led for a single second of yeah, the series crazy. up until then. And they had not scored a first period goal all series long, being outscored 6 nothing. So you mentioned, you know, to bring it full circle, that end of the first period dagger that really turned the, t- the tide because yeah. that game could have gone a whole lot differently if that puck didn't go in the net. But also, last one on Makar, I swear I'm done with the stats <laughs> deal. He is g- the few- fewest games to 20 playoff goals in NHL history, 71 games, only Al McKinnis, Dennis Potman, Paul Coffey, Brian Leach, and Bobby Orr have done that. So usually I don't come on here with this many loaded stats, but when you have <laughs> these names in the mix and then K.O. McCarr at, what is he? He's 25 years old, almost 26, I think. It's, you know me with the, you know me with the ages. Hold on. He's right here. 25. <laughs> yes. Steal. That's just really special. So I got to come on here and yeah, I nailed that birthday. That's random, but over to you. And I want to talk about Arter Shilovs and Thatcher Demko in a second. Flip up and early up and Adam this morning with the stat sheet, <laughs> with the research, absolutely loving yes. the work to put in with all these stats. and Triple and espresso, these, baby. Here we go. Triple espresso. Get your coffee in, get your caffeine in. I mean, absolutely killing it with this, uh, with this, you know, history lesson right now, where all the putting themselves with elite company, like we said. So that's absolutely incredible. Over to another injury update though. Yeah. Uh, Thatcher Demko, you know, we just saw, I sent you that you, you talk, we talked about it, but Rick Talkett has said in the last 72 hours that Thatcher Demko has improved mm. immensely. That does not mean that he will be back for games, uh, six and seven in this series against the, uh, um, mm. Edmonton Oilers, yeah. but it is a very, very good sign. That's the big question mark. If he is ready to go. If he is able to play in game Mm. six or seven, do you go back to Thatcher Demko or do you continue riding Arthur Shilov, who has played pretty decently in this series? Eh, You know, he's played okay. Eh, Mm. He's played, you know, I'll get to my, uh, I'll get to that in a little bit, but he's played decent so far in this postseason. But what, what would you go with? Would you? 
go with Thatcher Demko, your number one goaltender coming off pretty serious injury. Two serious injuries, actually. I know he's only played play a little bit one game in uh in the first round, but would you go would you would you go to Thatcher Demko or do you stick with uh Shilov? I love this Arthur Shilov story, Steele. It's great. It's been absolutely pivotal, obviously, for this Vancouver yeah. Canucks success. Four and three, two point seven one goals against and a nine oh seven save percentage in the playoffs for Shilovs. Thatcher Demko is a finalist for the Vesna Trophy this year, Steele, who had a sensational season. No disrespect to Arthur Shilovs. He wasn't even the backup. He was the third stringer for a reason. I love what he's been able to do. I think he looks like he is very much an NHL backup goaltender. Maybe he's one of those week-to-week flyers during the regular season again, fantasy-wise, if Demko goes down or they have a big schedule. But Demko is healthy. And, like, you know Rick Tockett ain't putting him in there unless he's got 100% yeah. degree because she loves is already in there. They're not going to do this juggling act. It's got to be Demko. Sorry to make my answer really long. It's got to be Demko going in the cage because 35-14-2 and two this season with a 2.45 goals against, five shutties. It's got to be Demko going in that cage, going up against the Edmonton Oilers' big guns. But what's your take on it? Yeah, I, I would say obviously you don't want to rush this player, this goaltender back into the crease. But yeah, I Good would point even about the if, two major injuries as well. That's a factor. If, if Thatcher Demko is even, I, I don't, I want to say like 80%, 85% healthy. I think I'm riding with Thatcher Demko even at that stage of, you know, getting sure. back into full, to, uh, full 100% healthiness. Just yeah. Because, I mean, even though in this series, Shilov is two and two, he's got two wins, two losses. He's got four straight games of three plus goals. I mean, Stuart Skinner yeah. pretty much uh, gifted yeah. them game one with his poor play. But just looking at the stats themselves, game one, he allowed four goals on 18 shots. Uh, he had a 778 save percentage. Game uh, game two wasn't any better. He had an 870, uh, 871 save percentage. The only good game he had, and he won it, was game three, where he had 45, uh, 42 saves, three goals against, and a 933 save percentage. Right. So, I mean, he did play, you know, he battled. He played great in the first mm-hmm. round series against Nashville. Um, but these last four games have not been kind to him, even with the two and two record. I would go back to Thatcher Demko if he's 85% healthy or 85% ready to go. I think I just so trust in Rick Tockett's decision making. Um, you know, great he has coach. really he has really put on a masterclass of how to get it done against this Edmonton Oilers team. I know lots of people are talking about it or, you know, I'm not coming up with this take on my own, but it's been clear that he is getting more out of like the fact that this team is still getting wins with what they've had to deal with uh, from goaltending to uh, Elias Pettersson is still a ghost. He's now actually called him out, quote unquote, called him out a little bit saying that he's one of the passengers on the team, I think was the quote. So just shout out to Ricky talk because he's getting it done in a very big way. I'm with you though. If Demko is an option, I think they're immediately going to him. And that's not to take away anything from Arthur. She We got bets coming up right around the break deal. Giddy up. Big time bets at the end of the episode, just like usual two games on the schedule. I've got a same game parlay yes. doing the flip special over here. But first, before we get there, this episode is brought to you by eBay motors, passion, drive, and patience. The formula for winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. From superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more, whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only, exclusions apply, eBay guaranteed fit, only available to U.S. customers. And once again, thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Continue to hit the subscribe, the follow button, leave a five-star review. Make sure you go check us out on our new Instagram account, Locked On Fantasy Hockey Pod. Flip's been absolutely killing it with the social content recently. We're getting our big time bets up there. We're getting there. We're We're getting getting some more reels up there. Hey, you're absolutely killing it. Hey, I got killing it out there with the. uh, I got to pump your tires, hey man. You've been you've been absolutely killing it with the social media. I appreciate you, bro. Hey, 717 views on our first reel. I know it's not like a crazy number, but uh, we got to start feeding some people some winners here because this bad boy's going on IG later. You forget me. 
Yes, sir. We're going to try to get them back. <laughs> I'm going to try to bounce back in a big way. And I'm going go. back to this team that, I mean, I, like I, like I said at the beginning, you know, I, I, I had, I had Kale McCarr anytime it says I had Miro Heiskin at any time it says I had the under six and a half. At least you were close. It, went, it went out the window. They decided to score goals instead of pass the puck in that game. Uh, they decided, yeah, it went over the number. I mean, it was just an absolute whirlwind of a game, but Hey, it's alive. They're going game six, it's going back to Colorado. Hit That's me. exactly where I'm going with this same game parlay. And hopefully, and I'm praying this one bangs out for me because I'm Let's going back it. to the top dogs here. Yeah. First pick of the night, Nathan McKinnon, anytime goal, mm. absolutely killed it in game, in game, uh, in game five. You know, he fed the puck to Artelli Lekin. He gets the fifth goal, uh, fifth goal of the game. He's going to continue to dominate and do his thing on the power play. He's getting absolutely incredible scoring chances in the slot, breakaways, whatever it is. He's been doing it. Uh, he's been doing a lot of it himself and getting those scoring chances. So I'm going back to him with the anytime goal. I'm okay. going back to it, even though it didn't work out. I'm going back to the Kale McCarr anytime yes, assist. That's what you. he does best. I know he scores you. goals. I know he scores goals like like yep. we saw him do in Game Five. But anytime assist from Kale McCarr, I'm going back to it, even though it didn't bang out in Game mm-hmm. Five. And mm-hmm. I am picking a winner in this matchup. Avalanche oh. on the money line. They're going to tie up the series. It's going to seven games, and it's going back to Dallas. If it goes to seven, you and I got a side bet going because you know I got a lot of juice running on these Dallas stars. So yes, if it goes do. to seven, we're slapping a 20 down for sure. I'm with you on these bets. I'm scared about the Nathan McKinnon anytime goal because I'm just trying to ride a couple of winners again. The other night, I got Stan Coven. I think I had Heisken in as well. Anyway, let's spit it out. Kale McCarr, anytime assist, that was my lock of the night. So I think when he is on his game, much like the other night, it's just a matter of time before he finds someone with a nice cross ice pass. That power play is clicking once again. So I'll just get it out of the way. Kale McCarr, anytime assist, that's my lock of the night. Because he hasn't had an assist since game one, you're going to probably get some nice odd for it as well, Steel. So I'm liking it even more. And then my, my next two picks are from the same game. And yeah, I'm going to this Panthers team because... This is, again, not me coming on here as a butthurt Toronto Maple Leafs fan, which I am, and just pegging the next team like I want them to to lose. They're going to lose. Panthers on the money line, minus 156. The depth is just too much. Jeremy Swayman stole them a game. That's what happens in the playoffs. Again, not taking away from it. Your goaltenders, your best players have to be just that. And he was. So, Panthers, money line. Speaking of which, my last pick, Matthew Kachuk, where are you at? Pointless in his last two games. I know he's still been a difference maker and he doesn't exactly always need to be on the score sheet, but when your team is struggling a bit to score goals and you have Jeremy Swayman building confidence, this is what goes down springtime hockey. You don't want that momentum to shift. And Matthew Kachuk is a momentum shifter. So I think you're going to see a very, very big game from Matthew Kachuk uh, up against the Boston Bruins tonight. So I'm going to spit it out. Matthew Kachuk, anytime point. That's my final pick. But yeah, lock of the night. Kale McCarr, anytime assist. I'm with you on that one, brother. You know what? I'm going to make that my lock of the night as well. Kale McCarr, anytime assist oh. going into Friday night. Thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every day. Those are the big time bets. Those are the locks of the night. Both Kale McCarr, anytime assist. Make sure you also go check out Locked On Sports today. They've launched the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube. You can also find them on the free Amazon Fire TV channel app. Uh, Your team every single day. They cover the biggest and top stories of the day with local experts of Locked On, plus the national shows covering every single league. So make sure you go subscribe to them. Go check them out on your favorite podcast platform. Check us out on your favorite podcast platform and on YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode with Flip and I. Have a great day. Good luck with your bets out there. And we shall see you back here again tomorrow.